Hey, welcome to Greg's Trading Place. We had a big down day in the market today, and I want to cover that with you and go over the edge of the expected move into next week. So SPY, decent down day today, down 1.34%. That's a pretty big downside move. We actually started with a gap down of about 0.7%, and we just kind of flushed. This is an opening range breakdown. So look, we have our highs, we have our lows, big flush. Then we started to establish another consolidation. We break down from that consolidation and come back to test that consolidation area and then just kind of zigzagged on lower. So for the week, we actually closed just at the edge of the expected move for the week. You know, maybe actually a little bit inside the expected move. And from Thursday into Friday, puts paid because we moved outside the expected move to the downside. Remember, if you guys watched yesterday's video, we were talking about that 424 on the SPY. And if you close above 424 on the SPY, yeah, that means puts paid a little bit more than what was expected in the options market. So into next week, SPY 431 is going to be the upper edge of the expected move. I don't think we get that high. We might get as high as something like 427, but maybe not much higher. And on the downside, we might come back down to test this former breakout area. Remember, markets like to go through range expansion and range contraction. Right here is range expansion. Then we have range contraction, range expansion, and then we had range contraction. Now we might have range expansion just to backtest the former breakout area, which would be about 417.50, 41750 down to 415. So if SPY is selling off early in the week, Monday, Tuesday, into these key areas, it could be a potential dip buy just for a short-term little pop. And again, not going for new all-time highs, but maybe just a short-term little like one, maybe up to 2% type of rally. So that's the S&P. On the downside, you know, we could go as low as something like 410 to 412, the middle of this consolidation range, because the edge of the expected move is about eight dollars into next week so if we look at this this is what i'm looking at right over here eight dollars and 28 cents from here up or down and again if you guys watched the youtube videos i'm trying to give you guys some hints you know xlc down pretty big big down move breakdown and again taking profits at the profit target 57.56 again we're covering all of this in weenie trades llc videos you know we gave ween's weekly market update saying that the market's likely going to drop this week because we are extended into resistance on the spy so again it didn't have to drop today but it was just more likely to drop today because of where we are on the chart so extended into resistance what are we going to do we can pop higher of course it could have popped higher but it was more likely to pop lower because of where we were in the chart and then yesterday, the other day, we were talking about XLC. We were also talking about QQQ puts on the YouTube videos. So QQQ down very big. You know, we had the 328 strike put expiring today. The 328 strike put $100 turned into almost $528. So that's a big percent return. We did the ghetto spread on that $50 into $300. I just took profits straight off at the open because... You know, I'm trying to live stream. I'm just trying to, you know, help help people out, analyze charts, navigate the market, be entertaining, as you know, take care of these cats over here. <laughs> and uh, so the QQQ put spread, a very big win. And again, I'm trying to show you guys these trades before, uh, you know, as I'm in them. And, you know, of course, I'm not telling you what to buy or what to sell, but I am here to show you, you know, I've been doing this for a very long time, been trading for over six years. I'm a chartered market technician candidate. You know, I'm, I'm signed up for my level two exam uh, in December, and I'm going to get my charter holder next year in June. And I just wanted to talk also about trade alerts. You know, I launched Weenie Trades trade alerts at the beginning of the month. Come check it out. Trade alerts are not for new traders. I, if you're a new trader and you just started with the BBBY squeeze, trade alerts are not for you. You know, trade alerts are not for you if you're just looking to copy my trades without understanding why I'm buying or why I'm selling. You know, trade alerts are not for you if you can't take full responsibility for your own trading. That's the most important part. I'm not telling you what to buy or what to sell, but I am showing you when I'm buying and when I'm selling, like this Disney put. So, over here on Disney, the implied volatility was really low yesterday. And so 
when Disney just goes sideways, the implied volatility shrinks up. And I've, I've had a lot of great trades on Disney over the years. In fact, my biggest trade of my lifetime was on Disney. But that's besides the point. You know, Disney shorting at 122.50, 122.50. And, you know, Disney just barely goes up at the close and then tanks today. And I was buying the 124 strike put option, buying it for 300 bucks selling it for 385 and you can look at this look at this you want to take profits when the implied volatility and range expands and disney sells off so nice good move on disney and that was just the back side of the move again you got a nice good head and shoulders pattern left shoulder head right shoulder we have a neckline breakdown floosh and there we go. So nice good trade alerts. Uh, you know, you can see the performance of trade alerts over here. Again, the pros of trade alerts are that they average over 20%. So if you average up all of the locked in trades, it's over 20%. We do still have a few open trades, uh, but the cons are that it's, it's, you know, it's only a month's worth of data. Again, we know that as the sample size increases, you know, as S increases, we can get a better predicament or we can get a better idea, I guess I should say, of what the trade alerts actual stats are over time. And again, anybody who invests in trade alerts gets access to this spreadsheet. They can view it whenever they want. And I just wanted to know that just because every single trade so far has been a winner, I repeat, every single trade so far has been a winner. That does not mean that there's not an open trade or two that are losers. For example, this SPY put butterfly is actually down about 47%. However, I have a lot of time on it. I've got till the end of September for SPY to sell off. I want it to sell off underneath 390 because I'm buying the 390 put. And I want it to hang out around that 373 area. And I don't want it to go too much lower. If it does, that's fine. But what's super cool about this trade is the asymmetric aspect of it, meaning $239 can turn into about $2,000 if SPY closes right at that 373 level by September 30th. If it goes lower, that's fine. I'll still make about $1,000. If it doesn't sell off enough, that's fine. I'll still make $1,000. If SPY barely sells off or doesn't sell off at all and I don't close it or take, take the loss, yeah, I'll lose the whole full $239 of cost that I put into the trade, but that's my maximum risk. So like to have those low risk, high reward, you know, great payout type of trades. Occasionally, sometimes there'll be some credit spreads. And again, that's why I say if you're an intermediate to an advanced options trader, trade alerts are for you. So those are just a quick note on trade alerts. And I just wanted to cover BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond, no, not BBBT, you weirdo. BBBY, there we go. Bed Bath & Beyond, or should I say Blood Bath & Beyond. Blood Bath & Beyond getting absolutely smacked. Again, fundamentals are horrific on this. Look at this, even Parker's standing up. He's like, something's up with BBBY. I don't know if this company is going to be around in 10 to 20 years. And again, Ryan Cohen is dumping his shares on anybody that's trying to diamond hands it. That's not how you want to trade the markets. That's what Romulus has been telling us. Romulus is my mentor. And again, just a quick reminder, Saturday session, less than 13 hours away. I'll be there. Are you going to be there to work on your trade plan? You know, get better at trading, live the backpack trader lifestyle, travel anywhere, his goal is to make you as much money as possible, but it comes down to the plan. You got to have a really good process. And so let me know if you sign up below. I'm going to be linking that in the description and in the comment section. And Parker, how's it going? Are you going to be a VIP this Saturday? Oh yeah, he is. He's getting ready. He's like, I got to go sleep for now. Good night, Parker. Got my cat in the hat t-shirt. Cat in the hat. Go subscribe to Kiani Productions as well. You know, I was on that Weenies Weekly Market Update, letting you guys know that I think the market could be dropping this week. Go check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.